Hello everybody, I'm Undermore Central and welcome to Rochdale. Now quite a few years ago we did a video just before Transdev took over Rossendale Transport or Rosso as they renamed it from the local council. We had a little look at the Rosso network up in Rottenstall and in the main area that they've run. I have done a separate video saying farewell to them in Greater Manchester with the B network. However, you can check that video out. However, I thought um, for this video we'll take a little bit of a look um, and see what's going on on their main network network by sampling at least two different buses on two different routes that will take us a little bit more of an obscure and unusual way into um, Todmorden eventually. So we'll see what it's like. They are all Russell buses we're going on. They might not, not all be painted in Russell livery, but what we'll do is we'll have a little bit of a run. We'll have a little bit of a chat. We'll see how the network's working. And we'll have a look at the area. Some bits have changed, like brand new bus stations, bits like that. So we'll see what it's all about, see what the crack is, and hopefully we'll have quite a nice, exciting run out on a couple of buses on some routes um, and areas that we don't usually tend to cover on the Amwell Central channel in something a little bit random and obscure. For now, as you could see, that was my 464 hopefully coming in permitted. It isn't too busy. There is one just behind it that I might actually wait for instead. Um, but what we'll do is we'll head in. It'll either be that one or a different one. We'll head in shortly and wait for our 464 that will take us either to Bake Up, um, Back Up or Rotten Stall for our next bus. So we should have a pretty nice run of it, have a little bit of a discussion, show you a bit of the scenery and hopefully have quite a decent afternoon out all in all. Are all of your standard bits and bobs that you get on new Transdev vehicles. So we're new at the back end of 2018, the start of 2019, um, and I've never, I've never really done these buses. I did a short hop on them when they were new to the Greater Manchester board on a System One ticket. But I thought today was the day that we do a little bit more of an adventure on them um, and explore the route a little bit more, as it's been a while since I've done the 464. So we've got um, the nice pink headrests inside, we've got the air charging points here and some nice information um, along the side as well for you to read and your next stop announcement board and the and sort of verbal um, announcements as well. Very standard transit vehicles. So when these were new at the back end of 2018, start of 2019, and um, they formed the biggest investment um, that Transdev have put into Rosso, the, the first initial investment, and it was also the biggest one they have made with all of these being new to the route. Now they did acquire a couple of other extra ones that have ended up now um, at Flyer and have ended up operating out of the Flyer business um, in Yorkshire. However, they still have a solid fleet of these operating roughly every 15 minutes. We're, on the, we're going to be on the route for about um, 45 of those minutes. Um, we've left Greater Manchester now and we are now in proper sort of Lancashire. However, we are going to be on the route for about sort of 45 minutes in total. I'm going through where we are now, that's Whitworth, Bake Up and then finally to Rottenstall.
So the 464 is a bit of a weird route in how it's now operated. It is part of the Russell network, so these are officially Russell buses. Um, however, they are, they tend to spend most of their time based out of Intac, um, so part of the Blackburn Bus Company. As a result of that, um, you tend to get quite a lot of blue Blackburn Bus Company vehicles on the 464 nowadays. Now, when um, Transdev purchased Rossendale Transport, um, there was a depot right in the centre, sort of in the Rottenstall Haslingdon area, and um, that these were most of the Rossendale area services from. However, shortly into Transdev owning the company, that depot was closed. Um, the operations were majority, the majority were moved over to Burnley. A couple of bits were moved to Rochdale that they're now going to be losing, so they were losing Rochdale. Um, so most of anything that is still based out of Rochdale, I don't think there is anything non Manchester based out of Rochdale now, um, will be moving to Burnley. Um, and then the old service like this one ended up moving to um, Blackburn and being based from the Intac depot. So this is a strange one with it being part of Rosso, um, but as I say, you do tend to get quite a lot of blue buses on here as well, the Blackburn Bus Company blue, even though it is a Rosso service. So with that in mind, these Octaversas um, were unique when they were new, being the XFE variation with the Alice and Gearbox. I've always been a fan of them, I've just never had that much chance to go on them, so it is quite nice um, to sample one of these in a proper format with its nice XFE box. I'll hopefully try and get you a few clips where you can properly hear the gearbox in action. So here we are at um, Baycup, it's quite nice, it's been a long time since I've been here, last time I was here it was Scania Solar Land, so it's quite nice to properly be back. It's a bit strange um, sort of seeing verses, I mean in the distance for example, something that you would back then when I was last here, I'd never have imagined, but there is a blue Blackburn bus company versa on the 464 in the other direction. There does seem to be a fair few of them out today, I think I've looked on the track, there's about three of them, three blue verses in circulation, a pride of the North Eclipse as well, so I don't know where all of the rest of these purple verses have gone, but they do seem to be having a fair few blue ones out, so there we go, 236. Oh no, sorry, do I have bit later but we're about 10 minutes out of Rottenstall um, where the newer style bus station awaits us. You'll have just seen in the previous clip that we passed Pride of the North Eclipse Irvin, um, an FGA 57 um, that was one of two eclipses um, that were branded up for the Pride of the North livery and refurbished inside when these vehicles for the 464 were new. The idea was is those two 1735s that's on it today in 1734 would be the spare buses for the 464. As you can see one of them is still on it but the rest of the spare vehicles appear to be a Blackburn bus company um, Blue Versus. Now what's interesting about those eclipses is that eclipse on here is um, the last of the original um, Rossendale Transport acquired vehicles. There's not many of them are left at all. They've got shut of most of them um, and that is now 
the last one, um, last two pretty much left of the fleet. The rest of the vehicles, like the Scania's built out quite a while ago, the Solars went when they launched the Rochdale Runners um, sort of services and bits like that, so then were when the Scania's last went. So it's pretty much now a case of, apart from the double-decker B7s that are currently at the school fleet in Keithley, um, those two Eclipses are now the last two original, original um, Rosso-acquired vehicles still in service on the Rosso network. Tall bus station. I believe we've been here in the odd video previously, but it is always nice to visit it. So a couple of school bus E400s there and then our bus is waiting for us there, the number 72 Todmorden. So here we are and that was the 464285, so we'll have a little nosy, quite a nice bus station, very very themed on um, trans, they've got a nice wall and the operations of what they do here, and we're now going to catch from here, we're going to catch the number 7 that will take us over to Todmorden. Still need to do the which way, still haven't managed it, but there we go, um, it says three minutes on there for Todmorden, and this is our bus, it isn't, um, it's driven by a Burnley driver, so it's got a Burnley driver at the helm, um, it's, let's see if these doors are open, oh we must have to go around the other way, so it's driven by a Burnley driver, it is a Burnley orange bus, However, it is definitely, there we go, this door's now open, it is definitely a Rosso service, so 2716. most of its life on the 152 service, renewed between Preston, Blackburn and Burnley. Service operates every half an hour and this was one of the buses that got branded up for the hotline. Now they've got the ex Witchway B90 or Gemini 2s on there. All of these were displaced, um, I believe this was one of the ones um, that was destined, I don't know if it ever got there, but was destined for Coastline or for the Coastline Extras. I think it might have done a brief stint there um, and has then moved over to Burnley. Um, I know that they were very, very hit and miss on the coastline of extras that year. They introduced them over COVID. Some of them um, did, I think one of them, 2761, did a load of time there in use. Meanwhile, I think the odd ones, if it was this one, I'm pretty certain it was 2760, 6162. Um, some of them were very, very hit and miss on the network as well, um, i.e. They, they were never really seen um, out in use. This one is now casually living its life at Burnley, operating um, on predominant the school services but occasionally on services like this, the number 7 the number 8. Number 7 and number 8 are both Rosso services, but tend to use whatever spare vehicles um, Burnley have, as I believe they both... I know this one definitely does rotate onto a school, um, but I believe the 8 also does very similar, so they tend to just put quite random um, Burnley bus company based vehicles on the services. So it should be quite a nice scenic run, we're on this for just shy of an hour, um, so just between about 50-55 minutes, so just under an hour. Um, we go the scenic way back to Bake Up, um, and then we go over the Pennines, over quite the obscure um, scenic route to Todmorden over the Pennines, for which I will be sat upstairs for. I'm very excited for that, it's been a long time since I last did this route. I did last do it with a B7, back when it was um, run by 52 plate B7 Geminis. Did sound similar to this, so we're in quite a nice and exciting room.
that's all of half an hour, 35 minutes to go. In a little bit around that time, depending on how well we do with traffic, I've moved myself upstairs into the lovely high back durable seats that Transdev of longer distance vehicles have um, and have had for some time. They're quite nice, quite comfy as usual, and these ones haven't been reupholstered pretty much since they were new, so they've got the original e leather seating style. Um, the ones downstairs are reminiscent of what you originally got on the shuttle in 2005, so it was pretty cool to see this styling once again. They are still as comfortable, and as I say, the main thing they've got armrests, bits like that, and so definitely the best, um, the best comfy seats um, and the best seats in the house for review as we make our way over the Pennines. Now it's important to note that 2760 is part of a dwindling batch of PJ05B7. Gemini's. Now, yes, you'd, you'd think they've still got Y Red, Y H R N. President's still in use in Keighley, and you'd think to yourself that it's a little bit odd that they've still got um, those in use. However, the reason that these are getting withdrawn is purely due to their high mileage. Because they were new for express intercity into um, town services across the town transdev network, and um, they've got very, very high mileage um, sort of lives that they've led um, across Lancashire and Yorkshire. So as a result of this, um, they start to become a little bit unreliable, starting to come up with a couple of problems. There's a bit of um, chassis, um, chassis corrosion on some of them as well that have recently been repainted and then scrapped. So unfortunately, these vehicles are dwindling um, in numbers. It's a shame, um, but for now, from a customer perspective, the ones that are still left, even though this one is a little bit loud, um, from customer perspective, it's still quite nice to sit in one of these quite comfortable buses um, on routes. Even though, um, even though it's not an intercity route, it's still nice to sit in one of these on a route like this, for example, to Todmorden. We'll discuss when we get um, after a cup and across um, over to um, Todmorden as well. The history of this route is quite an interesting one. Um, and at one point, these daytime workings, like the one we're catching now, didn't actually run. So I'll explain how I ended up on this route back when I did um, many, many moons ago. And I'll tell you a few other bits. But for now, I'll show you a few more views as we make our way through Lancashire and then over the Pennines. Connections to Rochdale, 
Rottenstall and Accrington on the 464. This bus will now be continuing on to Todmorden. Thanks for choosing Rossendale Rovers. We hope to see you on board again soon. So we're just leaving the Cup Town Centre now. We've just served our main stop and picked up a couple of people and now we're just looping round um, to leave Bay Cup and then to join on to the not so obvious um, rural road that takes us over this obscure route over the Pennines over to Todmorden. So what's the history of this route? Now this route used to operate, um, I remember first photographing it um, about from now up about a decade ago. Um, in Todmorden. Now Rossendale Transport ran it as the 465 and the 465 predominantly run between Bacup and Todmorden. It used to run for a school run in the morning and a school run in an evening that goes to and um, picks up kids from Todmorden High School um, but also serves a purpose on the other end of the route with there being sort of a middle of the day shop service. So what it used to be um, when I first knew this route was basically a peak time um, morning trips with a double decker and um, one of which ran as a school in sort of as a 465 but as a school bus then came back properly in service quite quiet and then during the day something like a little optair solo based out of Haslingdon um, operating the daytime sort of shuttles where it was just one bus going up and round um, and having a break in the middle. Then um, came some of the cuts and Lancashire service cuts at the time were quite bad and it saw the 465 daytime trips right in the middle, the ones for the shoppers um, and the day trippers um, got those withdrawn and the 465 just became a service that ran two trips in each direction that day, um, two of those trips being aimed um, as school runs, two of them being the dead runs to and fro the school that were running service for anybody that may be interested. That's when I first did this service, did the 465, did it previously um, as one of those early morning trips, got to Todmorden heavy early in the morning and did an LF52 V7 Gemini on the 465 from Todmorden as far as here to make up and then did my rest of the day in Rosso. It was one of my earliest vlogs, if you haven't already you can go and check it out. Since then Transdev took over Rossendale Transport and saw that there was some interest in the Todmorden to make up section. They merged it um, and renumbered it from the 465, um, merged it all into this local service that runs from um, Rottenstall and merged it as a route that runs Rottenstall around the estates that we've just done and a few scenic bits like Waterford um, to Bake Up and then from Bake Up to Todmorden. Now these runs run every two hours during the middle of the day. There is the odd um, funky sort of period just before the school runs where a trip misses but then during the school bus um, points another bus comes out it goes this I believe this goes, goes on to a different school run entirely um, but there is um, another bus that comes out and does the afternoon school run and will run into top of an in service and run out as a school lot number seven I believe as well now um, there is also a later evening trip this only runs in the Lancashire region so one of does rotten stuff to make up that I have done in the past um, and it's all quite interesting how the 7 now works. It is now in the um, Rossendale Rovers bus timetable. I do have a copy of that so I might have a little bit of a look. But for now I will show you the scenery as it begins to start.
So we're now on the approach to Todmorden. I forgot just how nice and scenic it is um, as you get up there on this run. Um, you can forget, um, I mean it has been a while since I've last done this run and the last time I did it, if you have watched the video, it was incredibly foggy um, as it was quite early in the morning that was the morning trip that you could get over. So it's quite nice to do it during the middle of the day, have a relatively nice and quiet bus. Um, nice comfy seats as you can see, very very comfy seats, USBs, so it's nice to be able to just relax and enjoy the route. Now the 7 as I say is one of the more obscure services, not many people pay much attention to it, um, I mean you tend to think with Todmorden of these two operators um, for goodness sake, so you don't tend to um, associate um, that much thought with um, Transdev running in, but they do on the 7 and it is a lovely run and as you can see um, it's been nice and scenic so if you haven't already I do recommend sampling it and here we go now arriving into Todmorden Thank you very much. So here we go in Todmorden and that was 2760 so we'll get a couple of quick photos of this and then pass into the studio for a little bit of a summary. So we have no idea why it's got 11 on the front but it is going back to a rotten store way so at least it's close enough. Just wanted a panning shot of the Burn the Bus Company B7 Gemini with the Metro Todmorden um, signage there. Seems really random. And um, what's also quite random is the branding on the side says we love Burnley, we love Burnley that much do Transdev. They love Burnley that much that they want to show off how much they love Burnley and um, to the rest of the network as well. Possibly um, not um, potentially giving a good impression for those who want to want them to love Rosso as well. However, at least we know that they love Burnley. A lovely motor, a lovely bus, even if it was a bit loud at points. A lovely scenic route. And what I will do is I will pass into the studio for a little bit of a summary um, as to what I thought of the little parts of the original Rossendale Transport Network we've sampled today what trans have done with them what i thought of them since i was last there and any other bits and bobs that i may have missed so to conclude this video and it's very important to mention at the beginning that um the video was filmed before trench 2 um, changes in the B network franchising scheme in Manchester took place. Thus, why there's a few Trans de Rosso Lake Line the um, street lights that appear in clips um, in the video. However, the routes that we have sampled in this video remain unaffected, and you can still. Um, the 464 is now the only service um, that, um, at the time this video will be releasing, is the only service that Rosso operates into Rochdale. You can still catch it, and you can still catch the number seven as well from Rotting Star to Todmorden. Now the 7 itself I had a little look at the timetable after um, filming this video and had a look at the tracker and it seems that the vehicle when we saw it leave um, with the destination just to note with the destination and um, there was definitely a programming error because it said 11 on the front however on the side and back and on the driver's controller it will have said 7 to bake up so it was very very strange that the blind at the front stated 11 but basically what it does is it does a short working to bake up on the 7 but then for some reason runs dead back to Todmorden to operate the school public working on the 7 service. Very, very strange setup um, that it sort of double backs and does that trip. I mean, the trip up the Bait Cup, it had two people on it. Um, so it was a very, very strange setup is that, but it appears now the entire day's diagram is operated by one vehicle. On this particular day I went, it was a Burnley Bus Company orange vehicle. So... Yeah, the, the, that has changed. Um, I remember last time I looked, it was definitely two different vehicles.
So what else has changed? Well, Rotten Storble Station, I do think it's very impressive. I think it's a nice building. I think it's quite nice and aesthetically pleasing. And it's always aesthetically pleasing when I get in and my other bus is waiting for me. So that was quite nice. Nice timetable stalls as well. And easy and attractive um, posters for connection services to Bury, towards Burnley, to Blackburn, to Manchester. So it is a very, very well-connected area, is Rotten Stall. And, uh, and as a result, now has quite a nice and attractive bus station. Rosso itself as a brand, especially as now they're losing um, North Manchester um, that they operate, is definitely dwindling as a brand. I think when this video comes out, the only vehicles still operating with Rosso names on them will be the small fleet of Opte Solo SRs that operate um, on the um, sort of Rossendale local services as advertised in this video on the announcements that they brand them as sort of the, the Rosso, Rosso local buses. They'll be the only vehicles branded up for a Rosso service properly with the 464 um, being sort of merged into what you would expect with any Transdev brand and um, the 482, the 483 again using Pride of the North Liveridge Centros with a bit of Irwell line branding on them now. So it will seem that those local services in, Rot in Rottenstall will be the last bit left of the proper original Rosso Empire in the proper branding scheme. They're very, very strange when they get to that point. However, it is hoped that they'll still keep the odd vehicle with Rosso names on it to just keep the name alive, be it um, a small part of the operation. I mean, the timetable still have Rosso on them that I think is pretty cool. Um, and as you could see in the clips, and it was quite nice that it had Rosso, um, Rosso on the um, branding um, when it advertised the route as well on the announcements. So the little bits like that, but apart from that, it was a little bit of a shame to see how corporate um, the the sort of the corporate um, lash um, that has sort of gone straight across the Russell name. It's quite a shame for an area that used to be quite proud of its council operated services and used to have quite a regular network. It's a shame to see that, but hopefully Transdev, um, there'll be benefits for customers with Transdev, with onwards travel for other services now. And I mean, stuff like the introduction of the bus station, make it a bit easier um, for the connecting services and bits like that. So hopefully they'll still remain with a little bit of Russell there, albeit unfortunately not as much as they used to be. With all of that in mind though, and a little bit of a ping because I accidentally disconnected something on the laptop, um, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, do be sure to click the like button so that my book can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Ammo Century YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry with videos around bus franchising, around the tranche to, before and after. So do go and check out those videos, as well as other videos around Transdev itself and Rosso, including a farewell to Rosso before tranche to and bus franchising took place. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.